It's difficult for Showmaker to all in this Garen. You can stabilize there quite well. You still have the Ziggs composition that's very, very strong in the mid game of pushing down turrets and making an impact from a long distance away. Ziggs. And then maybe they could do something. But if, if Keen just Valkyries it, then I mean, he doesn't care. And also, Kingen is just not really a champ, but he does have Ghost. There's the Valkyrie. Keen will flash straight into the root, and the Olaf's on top of him, and Keen is just so dead. There's no way to get away from that one. Now, if the flash were better, he probably would have gotten away, but instead he just dies, and Lucid sets up first blood here for King. Oh! oh wow, that was sick! And now, instead, Moham is able to flash in front of it, and he will have to give his life for the kill. That hook was definitely going to hit aiming. Allow Genji to, once again, run away with the macro. Hard to engage here as deep plus, though. You really need to get value out of this Olaf in this fight. And once again, Amy waiting. is not here, so it's just a 5v4 in favor of Gen.G. They try to go in on Olaf. That's not a good choice for Canyon. He might just die. He's dead. Down he goes. Now Keen trying to Valkyrie away. Remember, he doesn't have Flash. He's going to go down. Double kill here for Kingen. As now trying to frontline with the Garen, but out comes Daisy and Gen.G. Going to have to abandon ship. But there's another route that comes in. A triple kill for Kingen's Olaf. And Aiming's just farming bot the whole time. Yeah. This champ. Yeah. At least the ult doesn't last for too long early on as now. Oh, that knockback on a Lucid stops the hook from coming in. But it doesn't matter as it's still going to be the kill. And now King and no ghost, no flash, no ult. He can't get away now as this is going to be a huge shutdown. They're going to give over to someone. It should be Keen as eventually, surely, okay, he does take him down. 600 gold and a free turret down in the bottom side. True, he has Ghost, he has ult. If he uses those tools, then he's diveable. And now the satchel's gonna come through and that is gonna be first brick for Gen.G on top of the shutdown. And we see a 2,000 gold swing back now into their favor as Lehens will also pick up his 5,000th assist in that moment. Yeah. And uh, Lucid also with another unfortunate flash here. Was down there, right? But obviously they knew he wasn't topside because they were pushing the turret there. Can we dive a Garen? That's a good question. I don't think so. <laughs> well, we're going to figure it out here at the LCK. The answer is absolutely not. Not even close. Maybe with Lucid. I, I think with Lucid, follow up here, probably a get him. Maybe. Well, that's going to be an axe to come in. There's the root as well. Jovi in a bit of trouble. And the knockout comes in from Daisy. And finally, they do take him down. But now counter dive up on the top side. Can we dive Nasus? The next question, this one much easier, although a lot of damage did go into Canyon. It is going to be a kill going over to Pace. Okay, so ends up being a two for one here. It's going to be another turret for Genji. Yeah, I mean, trading turrets against the Ziggs, never a good idea. Diving a Garen in general, not the best idea. They make it work, but it doesn't feel like they're trading up in any way. That's another turret that goes over to Gen.G. And five grubs yeah. as well. I mean, that's part of why they're able to take that turret out here required. And yeah. Showmaker, once again, is in trouble. Oh, where have we seen this combo before? Well, press R, drop a hook, pays not even needed. Drops a bomb just in case. No matter what. So he just kind of has to sit there and die. And there is no cross map. Lahens in a little bit of a rough spot here. Probably going to go down. DK, nice catch onto Lahens, who did have flash, but did not elect to utilize it. Set that up, so somewhat forgivable. A really nice punish does come through. Let's see what they can get done with this, because top turret already died earlier. Mid and bottom are very healthy, and they don't have themselves a great siege composition over aiming right now. And BT is so valuable, obviously, into this comp, but Lahens is... <laughs> Playing a game here with Moab, and yeah. Moab loses. I mean, they're going to hook up Poppy. Generally not a good idea. The knockup comes in, but Genji are on the escape. The ult comes out from the Olaf, and down will go the hands. It's now redemption as well. Genji, they play with fire, and DK, they say bring it. But I feel like he was the winner in the end because looking at the Poppy means a big front line. 40 plus, and now they're going in. Yeah, another root here on a Canyon, who is very tanky. Down will go the Ivern, and Chovy, can they kill him is the question. Poppy, Mohab is in the Rift Hell, goes in, and will just die. He just trade himself for the Garen. I guess that's worth, but now aiming, very awkward spot, has to trade flashes with Pays, And now he's not here for this fight. I feel like they got a little bit of that BNK in them. Yeah. In that moment, you know? They're like, we're all gonna go super deep. 
They could have just been happy with the turret. You know? At over 10,000, nearly 11,000 there. Gain, I don't has some teammates nearby. Yeah. But I think this turret just goes down. They're going to try to ult to save it. All right. Well, that's the root, and that's the hook underneath the turret. And max range doesn't matter. You get rooted, you get hooked. And Moham trying to disengage with the zone ult is not successful. Success. And obviously the follow-up to Lucid's roots. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Oh, not again. Moham. Moham, he's got flash. He's actually trying to set up a play. Redemption on top. There's a bullet time. And, well, Moham does go down in the end. Daisy will not get her revenge. It's TP, but he's a Ziggs. They might be in trouble here, Valdez. TP coming through as well from Showmaker. Yeah, definitely trying to force this one. Gen G, they want to do something about it. Canyon doesn't have his ult. The knock up here on a Moab. Not a lot of damage. Oh, comes in on two aiming. And Garen is in the back line. Down will go aiming. And the damage is just way too much. Gen G, they get the punish. And it looked a little bit iffy. But now the Baba over the top as well. Ziggs will not be defeated. And now the two of them trying to get away. They do huddle up against the wall. Popping Gen G. Good luck stealing. I don't even need to have that much control, but Lens has it here in the choke point. If Lucid steps too close, he will die, and they will get the Baron. So, a little bit concerned about him walking up here. Don't do it, Lucid. Don't do it, man. <laughs> you I have so much to live for. They need you for the Hextech drink. Yeah, he will not hard commit, just drops a daisy. And the best target to hook, and Lehens takes him out. It's 10 out of 13 KP this game. Yeah, I, I think especially his positioning, like he was in five players. Threads the needle, as you mentioned, gets the perfect target, but also pulls it directly on top of a teleporting Garen. And, and the kills are close, but the map control is not. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh no. <laughs> Again! Oh, Showmaker, he gets rooted at the very end of the Maokai ultimate, and it's just set up on a T for Lehens once again, who presses the Q, and they have the damage from ahead. This composition does. And right now, Lehens, for this game, career is 8-1 and one on the Blitzcrank. The Nasus uh, against BNK it got a win, and maybe they're saying, okay, maybe we can utilize this again, but not into this team, not in the Chovy. King instead. Um, trying to go head to head against Jovi's Garen down two levels. King and burst into laughter because there's not really much else you can do at this point. In game two is, it's, I mean, it's done. BK, they, they don't have an angle. Yeah, Showmaker hands off the keyboard here. Look at him just stand and watch. Jovi's just like, all right, well, I'm just gonna keep pushing. Buddy is, however, getting hooked as aiming will avoid this one. Yeah, but, uh, I think playing, you know, MF in the last game could have been very nice. In this game, <laughs> this doesn't feel nice at all. No, Chovy's just going to solo this and hit bottom while the rest of his team systematically destroys the top. The inhibitor well, will on the gate. Yeah. They, they have the flank, and now they're just going to try to engage on the aiming, who is kind of frontlining here. But, oh boy, here comes Garen! And the Siege Bomb over the top, and aiming just doesn't get to play the game! And Lahens, he's going to taunt Olaf away from the team fight. So that's going to win it there. As Gen G, it almost looks like they're playing solo queue at this point. It's so one sided. Yeah, Chovy didn't even have to ult in that last uh, kill onto aiming. Not sure who he ulted ultimately here, but somebody died, I think, off camera while we were watching King and try to chase Lahens. <laughs> Oh, the game is over. It's 2 0 for Gen G. This is a playoff best of five, everybody. And Gen G are just smurfing on them. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.